Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing empties. And I just keep my Sephora play little box or little bags that they come in and I put all my empties in here just because they're really cute. It's an easy way to store things and I have the bags so why not? So these are just a bunch of products that I've used up over the last few months and I just wanted to talk about them so that way I can throw them away and also to let you guys know what I like, what I don't like, what I would repurchase and what I wouldn't repurchase. So the first product in my bag is this Pixie by Petra Makeup Setting Mist Fix. Anyways, this smells like rose water. It is amazing. I love the way it smells. It makes my skin feel really hydrated when I use it. And I do feel like it does set my makeup pretty decently. There's construction if that's why you hear any other noise in the background. But anyways, I really like this. It has a really nice fine mist. It just pumps out like this. Oh, you just saw there was a little left in the bottle. But yeah, I am thinking about repurchasing this. I kind of like to just try a bunch of new setting sprays. I never really have repurchased one that I have. Never really use the same one. I just kind of get one, use it, move on. But I'm not really sure what other mist that I want to use. So if you guys have any recommendations on a makeup setting mist, let your girl know. Okay, so anyways, there's noise in the background. It is from construction. It is not stopping. So I'm just going to go on with this video. I'm sorry if that noise disturbs you, but I have my Too Faced Born This Way foundation as the next product in my bag. I absolutely love this stuff. I literally, I don't know if you can see, but I scraped, oh no, you can't see. I literally scraped the bottle of this with another little makeup brush. I swirled it in there to get the last bit of product out of there. I love this foundation. It is hydrating, it is luminous, it is dewy, but at the same time, I don't really get oily with it. So I love this. I did not repurchase this. I bought the Anastasia Stick Foundation just because I wanted to try something different, but I would repurchase this again. You get a whole ounce in here. It's honestly not that expensive. And Too Faced is also a cruelty-free brand, which is awesome. I love that it comes with a pump, a frosted glass jar. It feels very luxurious. But anyways, I love this product. I have two lip glosses in my bag that I have next. One is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I got this one so long ago, like years ago probably, when I heard Jacqueline Hill talking about it. It's pretty old, it's not exactly used up, but it kind of smells a little funky, so I decided to give this one a toss. I would repurchase that, it's super cheap. For the next product I have, it is the Buxom White Russian, another product that I heard Jacqueline Hill talk about that I loved. I got the little set and it came with the little lippy too. And I still have the lippy. I don't use that as often just because I feel like that one is pretty, not drying, but just it's a dry formula. So it just goes on the lips, not very smooth. I, my lips are more on the dry side, so I feel like it emphasizes is emphasizes all the lines but I absolutely love this lip gloss. My next three items are just little samples. The first one is the Origins Maskimizer and I got this in my first Sephora play box. And honestly I feel like this is so gimmicky. I don't feel like it did anything else for my skin and I would not repurchase this. I just think it's a waste of money. Another product I got in one of my Sephora plays is the Corez Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. And this one again smells like rose like the facial setting spray I was talking about. I absolutely love that smell. At first I thought it was a little overpowering in this but I honestly just got used to it. I This was I think also in my first Sephora play box and I just finished it which is like three, four, four months later probably, and I did use it quite a few times during the week. So that was only 0.34 fluid ounces. I can't even imagine how long the other one. So I would definitely consider repurchasing this. I just have so much different skincare products right now that I'm using, so I will not be repurchasing this at the moment. Another product I'm not quite finished with is the Origins No Puffery Cooling Roll-On for Puffy Eyes. And for this one, also, I feel like it's a little bit gimmicky. I don't really think it actually did anything for my under eyes. I only got this because I bought a little kit where it came with the, the moisturizer, the ginseng moisturizer that I was using because it was a two ounce bottle, which was amazing since it's usually only one ounce and it was cheaper. And it came with this and one other product. So I wouldn't actually buy this on its own, but it was just a nice little thing to have. It is a little cooling, but I don't feel like it actually depuffs anything. 
So we're moving on to the second bag, and this one says, let's beauty together. In this bag, the first thing I have is my Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation. You can see there's literally nothing left in this jar. I absolutely love this. I have two samples, and I'm using my second sample, right, or my first sample right now. I love this. I'm going to repurchase this, but I'm going to repurchase it in that little three-piece kit I talked about in my skincare video. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. It's a good one. And... Yeah, I mean, I think it smells a little funky, honestly, but I think that it really has improved my skin, just in the texture and everything. I really get compliments on my skin since I started using it. So, yeah. Next, I have a Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. It just is a little compact. There's a little product here, but you really couldn't get anything else. And then it comes with a little mirror right here and a little puff. I did like this. Um... I guess I would pre-purchase it again because it is cheap. I felt like it did give a little bit of like a cast on the skin that wasn't exactly translucent, but I mean it's a cheap powder and I did like it. I just used it because I ran out of another powder and I needed one, but since I have the new Anastasia Stick Foundation, I don't really feel like I need to set with powder, so I don't really have a setting powder at the moment. An oldie but a goodie that I have is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. I absolutely love this. I heard people think these were pretty comparable. I think this one does a way better job with that fine mist. I just have this one because I'm waiting to get, I'm waiting to retrieve my free lipstick once I get six products, which is not going to be anytime soon. Another MAC product I have in here is the Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish. Just a little compact. You can see there's literally just that little plate right there. There's nothing left in this. I love this powder too. It's a great just topper on top of foundation if you need a little extra coverage. But it's not a found it is not a type of product that I would just wear without foundation under. I have a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara on here. It has this giant wand that you can see. I'm honestly not a big fan of this mascara because the wand, do you see that? It's literally bigger than my eye. So this one just gets all over the place. I've had this one for so long. I got it in a subscription box and I don't really like it. The Lancome Energy Devi, I've used this in a few videos. I really, really like this. But at the same time, I'm not sure if I would spend the money on it because it is a little bit more expensive. I do like one of the other products I'm going to talk about in my bag a little bit better than this for glowing skin. I did feel like I'd get a little more oily on my chin when I did use this. So I'm not sure how much people with more oily skin would like this product. Another little MAC product, I have my Pro Longwear Concealer. This is so old. You can see there's literally like nothing left in the bottle besides like whatever this is and how gross how gross anyways I did like this concealer it lasted me a very long time and a little went a long way I have a little duo eyelash adhesive in dark I really like the dark one because you don't see it on the band I feel like the white one I feel like the white duo glue it doesn't go clear it dries white so Clear is a little misleading duo. And I have a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in here. There's literally nothing left. I know it still looks like it's full, but I've scraped the sides of this so many times. I'm honestly not a big fan of the NARS Creamy Concealer. I just, for me personally, feel like it's a little dry under the eyes. It doesn't give me that great of coverage. I really like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes a lot better. So I not repurchase this again. The last product I have in my bag is my Becca Backlight Priming Filter and as I've mentioned in all my videos since I'm using my sample size one right now, I really love this. I think it does an amazing job at getting your skin all that luminous look. It's perfect for putting on your skin if you're not wearing makeup just to give you a little oomph in your skin and I would definitely consider buying this after I finish my small one. I just have to save my pennies because it is a little bit more expensive. But anyway, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed all these empties that I had here for you and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!